guys so I've been experiencing like some trouble with my with my car lately there's an issue that I have with my upper control arms you know you hear like clanking sounds or you hear knocking sounds and sometimes while you steer also you maybe hear like cook like a cook sound you know I was at KFC in Rondebosch East as I was turning into the drive through but I was turning very slowly in you know like a cook a goop sound. I just let, I just let the car roll back a little bit. I went again forward and I heard again goop. And I rolled back and again goop. Whole time like it while the while the wheels is turned was uh, whole time like it I was doing so goop goop goop. You know what I'm saying? I did some research which is very important. You know it, it could be my upper control arms that's giving that issue. I'm sure you guys know who Ims is. He has a shop next to Midas in Clipfontein Road. He sells Honda parts. Most of the time he sells dress-up parts, man. Like, you know, cosmetic stuff, like gear knobs and shifters and that battery stuff, that stuff for the colors and stuff, that 10 mil bolts. He sells that type of stuff. So I went to him and I, I got me two upper control arms. Left and right. So for those of you who don't know, your upper control arms is part of your suspension and the role of your upper control arms is to stabilize so it stabilizes your wheels it keeps your wheels from falling out and it keeps your wheels from falling in so if you look at it like this right here you have your wheel right and then here you have your upper control arm so what your upper control arm is doing is keeping your wheel straight and it's keeping your wheel from going like that from tilting out and it's keeping your wheel from tilting in on most cars if you drop your car like like me because your control arm isn't adjustable so it's gonna tilt in a little bit but just a little bit not much but what i notice with my control arms currently in my car now if if i grab the upper control arm like this no? if i grab it like this and i do that and then i can hear that it's it's moving man and I can also feel that it's moving. That is a sign that the pushings on the inside, pushings are clear. I'm gonna replace the upper control arms and then go for a test and then see that maybe solve the, the knocking issues that I have sometimes also in the mornings. Car stands overnight and in the morning when I go pull the car out and I drive over bumpy terrain then I can also hear clunking sounds and slight knocking sounds also DIY style. You know, I do easy stuff, man. Stuff that I can do myself makes you more familiar with the car and it also helps build the connection towards your car. That is why, you know, guys like me, I love my car, man. I love my car, no matter what people say. You know, the car don't look daedalic or it look daedalic. I don't care. For me, I work on my own car. I do the things what I want to do to my own car. And that makes me, at the end of the day, it makes me feel good, you know. And it makes me feel... You know, like a mechanic, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, so what you want to do is you want to get your car up on jack stands like this. The, the red one, the red one there. This is, I just left my jack here just for extra support. You want to get your wheel off. Uh, you know, duh. And then, um, <coughs> you see here's the upper control arm. It goes around the, the, the shock with a spring. And I just wanted to show you guys, if I take my, my glove, there's my, yeah, if I take my glove, no, and I wrap my glove around here because I, I don't really want to get my hands dirty, and I'm basically like tugging on it, and it's like moving a little bit, you know, you see the, you see it can, it can move, man. So, so that's how, so that's like noises that you hear when you're driving and that's noises that you hear because, I mean, you know, your suspension is like basically working. So, <clears throat> when it's working and things aren't working properly, then you're going to start hearing noises and stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen this bolt here and I'm going to go again up into the engine bay to loosen those ones there at the back. And then just slide in my new ones that I that I bought. Uh, I'll show you guys the new ones that I bought. So, like I was saying, once you once you got this bolt here, once I got that out, 
and then it was those two bolts there on that side over there and then if you come up back up here by the where the shock is on top there's another nut there and you see I had to remove my battery so that I can get to the other nut that is about it's about there it was a bit black there oh there we, yeah oh no I think it's, yeah that, that hole is there somewhere <laughs> But yeah, I had to take my battery out. I knocked on this thing here. Yeah? On this thing. And then the ball joint kind of just popped out. This is the this is the control arm here. Yeah? The bushing is also in its chops. As you can see it's a bitchy it's a bitchy flat. And the thing is you see the the bushings itself can move. You know? And you see this you see how it's moving these bushings aren't supposed to move like that if it moves like that then you I mean you're gonna get sounds you know what I'm saying some nasty sounds that you don't want it's like you're just another little bushing, you know, and then I can push those bushings out but what I'm gonna do with this bushings is I'm gonna poly it man I'm gonna see if I can't get somebody to, to polyurethane these bushings for me and then I can use these control arms again because you know this I mean this control arm is still good man you know it's just the bushings that you need to put back into it and stuff to make it again um, sustainable again you know what I'm saying but yeah so now I just wanna so now I'm just gonna put in the the new one and then take it from me I'll show you how the new one looks yeah there you go new yeah back once again with progress so I got this one in now um, I took a bit of pushing here pushing there I mean it's a new it's a new part man so that's why it's gonna it's gonna act up a little bit to go in but as soon as, soon, as long as I got this one in when I got this one in here there's the side here I threaded the ball through and then I just focused on the side here got the bolt through you know just helped it along with a screwdriver and then I I bolted this up put the castle nut on there and my old nut is still fine so I just decided I'm gonna keep it and just leave it on there I don't know if that's gonna be wise but I'll just have to see so I'm gonna put the, the wheel back on now yeah so you do the same thing for the other side of the car and then just make sure everything is nice and tight and then yeah, you should be sorted. Salute. Just to recap on the whole vibe, um, I managed to install just the one, just the one control arm. I didn't want to install the the right side control arm because when I when I took the wheel off on the right side and I moved the control arm, I saw that it was it was still like solid, man. So I thought, okay, now nah, let me not change that one out because. Was still good, so I thought, nah, you know, just keep it in there, and then, <coughs> and then just change it out when it when it needs to be changed out, you know, not don't do like double work, you know what I'm saying? Don't like, don't do double work. Double work is <laughs> nobody wants to do double work, not even me. 